Alexander Dunn here for planning better bike adventures using Google Maps. This is part four. So if you've been watching the video series, you know that this summer I'm planning a trip from Seattle, Washington out to the tip of the Olympic Peninsula in the Nia Bay area. I have shown you in parts one, two, and three how to look at some bicycle information using Google Maps and have Google Maps actually plan the route for you. But now I want to know a little bit more about what this route actually looks like and what it's going to be like to bicycle on. Specifically out here in the in the part of the peninsula where there's fewer roads. So let's zoom in a little bit out here. And I know that one of the things Google Maps wants me to do is take this uh, Route 112 here along the water. And I'm a little curious what that might look like. Google has this great tool and it's the street view. This is the little car that Google drives around and has the camera on top. People have uh, probably seen it driving in their neighborhood. But what I can do is I can pick up this little guy. He lives down here. You click on him and you drag him. It's like picking up a, a, a dog by the scruff of their neck. And you can actually, he has a little dot. You put his little dot over the route, any route in blue. So you'll notice that when I picked him up, the map turns blue. And any place that's blue is photographic information captured by Google. I'm going to take my little guy and I'm going to drop him out here on this route 112. So I hold him and then I let go. Google's going to zoom in onto the Route 112, and by clicking and dragging, I can actually slide around a 360-degree view of this Route 12. Now, what am I looking for? As a bicyclist, I am looking for to see what the shoulders of this road look like. I'm looking to see how many cars are on it. I'm looking to see the condition of the road. And just to kind of get a general sense of what this is going to feel like. Now, of course, I don't know when this video was made. There's a car right here, but this could have been Sunday at 6 a.m. for all I know. It could have been Christmas Eve. It could have been a time when there's very little traffic. So I can't take the traffic on a road like this for certain. But what I do know for sure is that this is uh, a two-lane road with a double divide, which means it probably gets pretty significant traffic. There are some big curves here, if you see these curves. And there's not a huge shoulder. So this road is going to be, uh, you know, maybe a bit harrowing to drive on, not to bike on, not impossible. If I double click, I can actually go up the highway a little bit and look what I find around the corner here. A giant logging truck driving uphill in a breakdown lane, getting passed by a van. This is the kind of thing that really kind of don't like to see as a bicyclist. This means that my potential lane is also a passing lane for monster trucks. I'd be going uphill, which means I'd be going very slowly, and cars are going to be zooming past trying to pass uh, slower vehicles. So right away, this little street view is giving me some real good information about this little section of my trip, and I can start to plan better if this is a road I actually want to bicycle on.